Hey y'all, welcome back to the Lips Reacts channel. I'm Lips and today we start season three of Game of Thrones. The first episode of this season is titled Valar Doheris. And if you are new here, welcome. Welcome to season three, your favorite. Uh, <laughs> we have been on this journey for the last couple of months and it has been such a delight, such a heartbreaking, intense, stunningly made, beautifully written delight of a show. It lives up to all of the hype. And I'm so glad that I finally get to watch it. And I'm even happier that I get to share that with you. So thank you for being here and thank you for being a part of this journey. If you like this content today, don't forget to hit subscribe on this channel and turn on the notifications so that you know when a new video drops. And also maybe give the video a like and we'll see you down in the comments. If you do want the full length reaction, you can hop on over to, into Patreon for that. Otherwise, on YouTube, you've got an edited reaction for your viewing pleasure or pain. Because with Game of Thrones, you're getting a little bit of both, aren't you? And we have a lot to catch up on. So let's dive right in to the third season of this fabulous show. I'll see you in there. Please be okay, please be okay, please be okay. Brother. Are they dead? Holy shit. That seems like a message. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. White Walker? No, 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 I have to warn them. Or before winter's done, everyone you've ever known will be dead. Oh, risks couldn't be higher. Here we are. Here we go. That is quite the camp. Giant? That's. Well. He's big. How'd they have so many clothes for him? I don't stay too long, they're shy. When they stop being shy, they get angry. Yeah, I would stop staring. <laughs> John! I've seen them pound a man straight into the ground like a hammer on an air. Oh, why is she so scary about that? Why is she gotta be so scary about that? Crow coming! Run! <gasps> Hey! In your heart, no. all your crows want to fly free. When I'm free, will I be free to go? Sure you will. Oh! I'll be free to kill you. I do think I respect her. I smell a crow. Who killed his friends? This baby killed Coronathan. He wants to be one of us. Not welcoming. My father told me big men fall just as quick as little ones. And there's plenty of little skeletons buried in the woods. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What's in She's scared that he's not going to get out of this alive? You're Ned Stark's bastard. Thank you for the gift, Lord of Bones. You can leave us. Lord of Bones? What? Now that you say that, he did have a lot of bones on him. He was our enemy, and I'm glad he's dead. We can never forget what Happy Ant did for us. He bears that respect. Or... He was my brother once. Hmm. The Lord Commander sent me to the Half Hand for seasoning. Why? He wants me to lead one day. But here you are. A 
traitor. I'm a traitor. And you are too. Those are intense words. I want to be free. No. I think what you want most of all is to be a hero. Ooh, called out. I saw Craster take his own baby boy and leave it in the woods. John's moral compass, man. And why would that make you desert your brothers? Because when I told the Lord Commander, he already knew. And he didn't care. I want to fight for the side that fights for the living. I think that's true. How we got to this situation was via a little bit of trickery with half hand, but I I don't know. I think I don't think Rob's just kind of bullshitting the situation. I think that's true in his heart. Pod. It's your sister. He's really in it, man. No, I don't think so. If I wanted to kill you, do you think I'd let a wooden door stop me? Hello, sister. Ah. Oh, nah, he would have never do anything like that. I don't think he would ever kill his sister. The rebels came for Joffrey's head. They lost their own. Thanks to father. Thanks to father. Tyrion just chopped liver? You're meeting father today. How do you know that? Because I have hundreds of spies in my employ. Father told me. What do you want from him? What do I want from him? He's my father. Why is she playing so many games? I'm sure he loves me dearly. Yet he hasn't come to visit once since arriving in King's Landing. Oh. My face split in half. But father never came. It, Tyrion did so much for the family too. He didn't get any respect. Because you slandered me to father before. You did have your guards beat her. A girl of nine, I believe. I was nine too. So Cersei has always been... It's not slander if it's true. Evil. Why are you so nervous about what I'm mm. going to say to father? Because you're a liar. Any lies in it, particular? You would think that she would feel her relationship is stronger with her father than Tyrion's. And she wouldn't have to play games like this, but... Mm. Now, I have an appointment with Lord Tyrion. You put your hand on that door. You lose the hand. Oh, um, uh, saved by the Circe. You grow bored protecting me? I grow poor protecting you. Poor. Mm -hmm. And if you want me to carry on protecting you, you'll need to pay more. I thought we were friends. We are. But I'm a sell sword. I sell my sword. I don't loan it out to friends as a favor. Why is everyone kicking Tyrion while he's down? Holy hell. And your son? He may have swum ashore as you did. No, the wildfire took to my sword. That was a pretty... The wildfire was intense. If I was a good father, he'd still be here. Oh. Stannis lives. He licks his wounds at Dragonstone. You take me there. I promised you 30 ships, and you promised me riches and glory. Ooh. Did they deliver the riches and glory? They say he sees no one, not his generals, not even his wife. Only the red woman. She has him wrapped around his little finger. And burning men alive. What? They built a great fire when Stannis returned. All those who spoke against her, she called servants of darkness. And so the... Oh my god, she's out of control! She's leading the whole freaking thing with Stannis. She has him wrapped around her little finger. Take me back there, please. You cannot turn Stannis against her. Maybe not, but I could carve her heart out. Oh! If you fail, they will burn you. If you succeed, they'll burn you. You drank with me on my wedding day. And you drank with me on four of my wedding days, but I don't ask you for favors. I have to stop her. I'll gather your bones in a little sack and let your widow wear them round her neck. Oh my god! We should set the siege lines a thousand yards from Harrenhal. There won't be a siege. The mountain can't defend a ruin. Excited to check in with Rob. Nervous though. Nervous. 
this. Fight. The men would love a fight. I don't think we're going to get one. I don't think we should fight just to fight. <clears throat> Yikes. 200 Northmen slaughtered like sheep. Jesus. The Malister. Sir Jeremy. My father's banner. <gasps> oh my god. Find her a chamber that will serve as a cell. Oh. She's your mother. She freed Jamie Lannister. You're lucky to be alive. Yeah. Lucky. I don't think he feels very lucky. The badge looks good on you. Almost as good as it looked on me. Is Tywin really just making Tyrion sit there in silence? Am I enjoying it? I was very happy as Hand of the King. <laughs> he, he did a great job. I heard how happy you were. Why doesn't he get any of it? into my bed. Real power and authority. You chose to spend your days bedding harlots. Oh, because Cersei had that girl. What do you want, Tyrion? Why does everyone assume I want something? He did so much for them. I organized the defense of this city. While you held court in the ruins of Harrenhal, I led the foray when the enemies were at the gate. While your grandson, the king, Ran out of there like a little baby. I bled in the mud for our family. What, what do I want? A little bloody gratitude would be a start. A start? Or a Lannister. Do you think I demanded a garland of roses you can't every time I suffered give him a wound on the Any little bit no. of love, Tywin? Come on. You were such a practical, strategic man, and you can't see that. Tyrion did so much. He played the game. I want what is mine by right. Jamie is your eldest son, heir to your lands and titles. The day oh. Jamie put on the white cloak, he gave up his claim to Casterly Rock. He wants Casterly Rock. We'll find you accommodations more suited to your name. Thank you. And I would let myself be consumed by maggots before mocking the family name and making you heir to Casterly Rock. You who killed your mother to come into the world. Men's laws give you the right to bear my name and display my colors, since I cannot prove that you are not mine. And to teach me humility, no. the gods have condemned me to watch you waddle about wearing that proud lion. He hates him so much. Speak no more of your rights to Casterly Rock. Go. Oof. The next whore I cut in your bed, I'll hang. That might be more than hate. He might more than hate his own son. Might I speak with Lady Sansa alone for a moment? I saw your mother not long ago. Please. Don't be a backstabber here. Please, 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 please. You said you'd take me home. You said King's Landing was your home. I'm waiting for word on an assignment that will take me far away from the capital. When I set sail, I might be able to take you with me. Might. You're her handmaiden. He's an important person. So is she. Hmm. The day she was born, they rang the bells from sunrise till sunset. Oh. Watch out for her. I always do. Out for her with him. Holy shit. Thank you, girly. Shay, 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 shay. Listen, 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 listen. The dragons? <gasps> yeah, they're getting so big. There's just a little, though. Oh my god. Shit! Oh! Oh, delicious! 
What a nice little trick. Growing fast. Not fast enough. I need an army. Some say the Unsullied are the greatest soldiers in the world. The greatest slave soldiers in the world. Distinction means a good deal to some people. Oh, yeah. Another lovely day in the high seas. Ooh. Don't mock them. They're the first Sothraki you've ever been on a ship. They oh my god, that's huge. Heard you were dead. <laughs> I had hoped to speak to you with Not the book, your grace. You are alone. Oh, the red lady is so intimidating. And there is still a war to fight. I am fighting. By burning prisoners alive. I do not judge people for the gods they worship. If I did, I'd have thrown you in the sea before you ever set foot on Dragonstone. Yeah. You are my enemy. I wasn't there when the wildfire killed our men by the thousands. I could have saved those men. But I wasn't there. Because you convinced your king to leave me behind. Uh-uh. Don't despair, Sir Devils. What I told your son is true. Death by fire is the purest death. <laughs> oh, shit. Take him to the dungeon, lock him in a cell. Your grace, come on! You've chosen the darkness, Sir Devils. Sir Devils. He tried. No one... Sanus is not gonna listen to no one, not a single person. Where we stopped? It's Lady Marjorie, your grace. <gasps> Stop, my lady. You'll ruin your dress. I have others. Interesting. Look at the red part on the walls. In the ship's going to Blackwater Bay. She's good. Bad men wanted to come into this city and do terrible things, but your father stopped them. Whenever you look at this night, I want you to remember your father. Jury's out on how I feel about her, but she's kind of winning me over. Was your father a soldier too? You should be proud too. She's taking care of the people. Come to me, whatever you need to feed them, clothe them, or house them. Directly to me. Hmm. <laughs> she's good she's better than she's the opposite of joffrey she's got a game plan here that's a lovely gown my lady yes it suits you perfectly. what i imagine you might be rather cold loris isn't the queen's gown magnificent the fab Ooh, wow the game's being played in this room joffrey tells me you stopped your carriage at flea bottom I paid a visit to an orphanage the High Septon told me about. Marjorie does a great deal of work with the poor back in Highgarden. Cersei hates that. An open heart is what you'll get in Flea Bottom if you're not careful, my dear. Not long ago, we were attacked by a mob there. The king barely escaped with his life. My mother's always had a penchant for drama. Mm. Facts become less and less important to her as she grows older. Wow. We can't all have a king's bravery. Hence. Building her army. Only one boy in four survives this rigorous training. Their discipline and loyalty are absolute. Even the bravest men fear death. <laughs> Damn. Our master says the unsullied are not men. Death means nothing to them. <laughs> oh, oh, who are you calling a whore? Tell the good master, there is no need. <gasps> what the hell? Nipples. <laughs> he didn't even flinch. To win his shield, an unsullied must go to the slave marts with a silver mark, find a newborn, and kill it before its mother's eyes. What the hell? You oh. take a babe from its mother's arms, kill it as she watches and pay for her pain with a silver coin. Las Anguda. She is a 
offended. Of course she is. My master would like you to know that the silver is paid to the baby's owner, not the mother. Baby's owner? What the hell is... What? Slaves. Master Krasnus asks that you please hurry. Many other buyers are interested. I don't know if it's worth it. She needs an army. Is she gonna do it? 8,000 dead babies. Once I own them, these men... They're not men. Not anymore. Once I own an army of slaves, what will I be? A slave owner. Mm, Nerys just has a good heart. <gasps> Hello? Nah. -uh. You'll be fair to them. You won't mutilate them to make a point. Who in the hell? <laughs> no! <laughs> what is in that? Oh my god. No. No, no, no. That looks poisonous as hell. <gasps> oh my god. A scorpion. That kid? What? It wasn't the man, it was the kid? He tried to kill the kid? <gasps> no, that's not a real kid. The warlocks. Warlocks? Oh! Shit. I owe you my life, sir. Mike Reed? That's one of the greatest fighters the Seven Kingdoms has ever seen. Oh my god. The Lord Commander of Robert Baratheon's King's Guard. King Robert is dead. I've been searching for you, Daenerys Stormborn, to ask your forgiveness. I was sworn to protect your family. Holy hell. I failed him. I embarrassed and sell me. King's Guard to your father. Allow me to join your Queen's Guard. Hell yeah! I mean, he just proved himself, right? Mm -mm. It's one of those episodes where we do a lot of foundation setting before we let the shit hit the fan, huh? We had to kind of reset. We kind of had to re-emphasize the storylines, the consequences, the what we're fighting for, you know? Um, set up, set up the relationships as they stand for the start of season three. And it's interesting. Some, some things have taken some, some 180s, right? So we've got the, we've got Joffrey and his new queen. And that's a very different situation. Um, she has power where where Sansa never really did. But Sansa's not safe. We didn't even see Arya this episode, I don't think. Jon Snow. Technically no longer a crow. No longer of the Night's Watch. But I don't know. That one's a little that's that's interested to see where that one leads to because i do think john has a very strict moral compass and uh i don't know i'm just interested to see where that one goes i think everything that he said was true but he did make that vow he did and i think he takes that seriously but we'll see we will see won't we well or we won't i imagine we'll find out that'll come back around You know, just all in all, everything is rocking and rolling, I guess. It's a good episode. Good, good, good foundation episode. Good to be back in the show. Good to be back in the series. And I think season three is going to be great. We're in it. We're deep in it, aren't we? So 
I'll see you for the next episode. If you like this content today, don't forget to hit like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on the notifications. Full link reactions and Patreon. All the other links you could want down below. And I'll see you in the next one.